This is WKYT This Morning. It's your Friday and the day after Thanksgiving. Good morning from WKYT. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Barbara Bailey. Friday, November 27th. And now at 630, the Fayette Mall just opened just a, a few minutes ago, about half an hour ago or so. Folks still lining up for all the latest deals. Last night's deals may have meant met smaller crowds at certain stores on this Black Friday as well. And check your refrigerator. You may have a product in there that has been recalled by Costco. And we're seeing temperatures there in the 50s. A couple of 40s sprinkled in here and there. This is a really nice start to the Black Friday. We get into your afternoon at about 10 to 15 degrees. And we're going to be talking temperatures anywhere from 65 to even 70 degrees. I'll show you that and also when the rain moves in. Coming up. All right, let's get to the news and happening right now. It is a busy scene at Fayette Mall in Lexington at the moment. Hundreds of people have been getting in some of their early holiday shopping. Select stores opened up last night. And just minutes ago, nearly every store at the mall officially opened for business on this busiest shopping day of the year. WKYT's Mark Barber is live at the Fayette Mall now with a look at all the madness this morning. Mark, good morning. Good morning, Barbara. To paint a picture for you of what Black Friday is like here at Fayette Mall, I need to tell you about a woman named Allison Fuller. We spoke with the mother in the past hour or so, and she told us that she had shopped for the past 14 to 15 straight hours. We were speaking to her when she was actually lying down to take a nap to try to rest her eyes in a playpen here that had some open couches before those stores opened 30 minutes ago. So that gives you an idea of just how long some of these shoppers have been out here. So, yes, it is Black Friday, and yes, as you would imagine, Things are very crazy. Now, things are heating up as more and more people are starting to show up for these Black Friday deals. The mall was packed with shoppers yesterday because many stores here opened at 6 p.m. on Thanksgiving. Those that did not, like Ann Taylor and HM, opened just 30 minutes ago. So, why would shoppers like Allison Fuller, that mother that we just told you about who is sleeping on the couch, want to keep walking and shopping through the mall to the point of exhaustion? Well, she says she does it so she can do all the shopping that she needs to for her children. Well, we've been going since 3 yesterday afternoon, and so we figured if we could get a nap in before all the stores finally open, then we can go for another 10 hours. <laughs> So how are the shoppers who are not like Allison Fuller, they're not taking a nap on the couch, how are they powering through the morning? Well, I can tell you that most everybody here this morning has a coffee in their hand, so I'm thinking maybe the caffeine is a trick to getting up and being alert so early this morning for all these shoppers. Now, one thing to keep in mind if you do plan to head down for some of these deep discounts, not all the stores are open just quite yet. The Apple Store, that is opening at 8 a.m. If you want to take a look at the full list of all the store hours here in the mall, head over to our website, WKYT.com, where we have the full list for you of when and every store here will be open. That's the latest from Fayette Mall. I'm Mark Barber, WKYT. All right, Mark, thank you. You have to do your homework a little bit to know right. where to shop, when, when it all opens. And, and where there's a couch, uh, maybe, as well. Yeah, yeah that's an important <laughs> we factor saw. there. Well, down the road, Best Buy opens for round two of good deals at 8 o'clock this morning. Now, Best Buy opened yesterday evening at 5 p.m., and it stayed open until 1 o'clock this morning. Looks like that has uh, kind of thinned out the crowds a little bit for this second opening. WKYT's Michelle Chamberlain is live from the Best Buy on Nicholasville Road. Michelle, good morning. What are you seeing out there? Good morning, Bill. Yeah, someone in line here told me that yesterday hundreds of people were waiting outside of Best Buy to get in when the store opened at 5 p.m. That's not the case this morning. As a matter of fact, there are only a few people in line right now. Best Buy was open on Thanksgiving from 5 to 1, so maybe that is the reason no one is here right now. A police officer on duty for the expected bid line told me he was here yesterday and three hours before the store opened, people were lined up all the way down to Office Depot. Interesting, considering that 95 million Americans are expected to be shopping on this Black Friday. It's interesting that no one's here right now, but maybe with stores opening on Thanksgiving and stores offering the same deals online, it will keep shoppers at home, or maybe they're sleeping in this morning and they'll show up later. Either way, Jesus Pinto can't believe he is one of few people in line at Best Buy this Black Friday morning. Extremely surprised, extremely surprised. I was talking with the officer that was here and I was like, am I allowed to be on here? I thought it was like closed off or something. So I was like, well, I might get something to eat real quick. And I'm like, no, let me come back. Because it'll probably 50 people come by the time I come back and there's two or three more people. So. Yeah, we're not at 50 people just yet. It's more like about 10. 
but Best Buy opens this morning at 8 o'clock. Live in Lexington, Michelle Chamberlain, WKYT. All right, Michelle, thank you. And for a full list of opening times for stores across the bluegrass this morning, just go to our website, WKYT.com. Well, today a community will lay a toddler to rest in Frankfurt after the little boy died in a fire. Two-year-old Demetrius Johnson died in a massive fire last week at an apartment complex. Two other people in his family were taken to UK hospital, and at last check, they're remaining in critical condition. The visitation for the little boy starts at 11 o'clock, and the funeral is at 12. Both will be at First Corinthian Baptist Church on Murray Street in Frankfurt. Lexington police are investigating this morning after they say a man was robbed at gunpoint outside a movie theater. This happened late last night outside the Regal Theater in Hamburg. The man told police he was robbed at gunpoint and the robber stole $700 from him. Officers tell us they don't have a clear description of the robber, but he took off in a white SUV with Georgia tags. Five years after a well known Perry County couple was found murdered in their home, their family is still begging for answers. Hazard businessman Roy Campbell and his wife Wanda were found shot to death in their home in 2010. Thursday marked five years since their death. Wanda's daughter now lives in Michigan, but she says she is still looking for answers back here in Kentucky. The family says the anniversary of the couple's death is always difficult, especially when it falls on Thanksgiving. We need answers, you know, and honestly, the silence is, it's deafening. Uh, the, it, it's just so silent. You know, it's tough every year, but, you know, when it falls on a holiday, specifically on the holiday, it's even tougher. The family says they put up billboards, they've made calls to no avail so far. They are also offering up a $20,000 reward for information that will help police solve the case. Officials say a dozen dogs seized from a Boyle County home will now be heading to animal rescue organizations. According to the Advocate Messenger, 10 Presa Canarios that once belonged to Chris Pope will be spayed or neutered and taken to a dog rescue agency in Kansas. A husky rescued during the raid will be taken to Cincinnati. Police say Pope agreed to give up the dogs as part of his guilty plea for charges of failing to take care of the dogs. The dogs had been at an animal shelter since the raid in July. Pope still faces charges in Lincoln County related to a dog attack that injured a woman over the, over the summer. And new this morning, as Lexington's Bryan Station Middle School continues to improve, the school is trying new measures to raise student achievement. According to our partners at the Herald Leader, the school is now creating some all girl classrooms. In addition, new measures include having students take daily gym and wellness courses. The school has raised its overall scores with the state from about 52% to about 55%. A nationwide company based in California is now recalling a vegetable mix that is believed to be the source of E. coli in Costco chicken salad. So far, the outbreak has sickened 19 people in seven states. The Food and Drug Administration says Taylor Farm Pacific is recalling a mix of celery and onion. Costco says it uses one supplier for those vegetables in chicken salad sold in all of its U.S. stores. Costco has stopped stocking the chicken salad for now. Well, many volunteers spent Thanksgiving Day helping those less fortunate across the bluegrass. The Salvation Army served around 700 meals during its annual Thanksgiving dinner in Lexington yesterday. Now, before they served their main dinner last night, the Salvation Army also delivered meals to about 100 people in Lexington yesterday morning. Always a lot of good things that come around a holiday. Absolutely. A lot people, of people open did a, their hearts. A lot of and good yesterday. Certainly. Help a lot of people. Yeah. Our time this morning is 641, and time to check live drive traffic early on your Friday. Let's see what is going on out there. And we know that it is picking up as we've been reporting around Fayette Mall and uh, also some of the other major retail locations uh, in Lexington, uh, such as uh, Hamburg. Also, of course, busy over in uh, Madison County around uh, Richmond Center in Frankfurt uh, there around uh, the Brighton Plaza Shopping Center and some other areas. And uh, we have uh, this one spot that uh, we need to call your attention to as well this morning, uh, which is.
is uh, off Reynolds Road, and that is in that area right around uh, Fayette Mall. So it's the cross streets uh, around Fayette Mall right now that are quite busy. So keep that in mind. Black Friday shoppers out there. Barb, here are some of our uh, travel times. That's right. And, and I, was, I think they're close to normal. Oh, it's starting to look at them. I think, yeah, yeah normal. That's yeah. what it is. No. And I don't think it surprises people that there's heavy traffic right. around those big right. shopping areas. And a big afternoon in Lexington with uh, the uh, Luminate Lexington events will be uh, going on in the afternoon up until the tree lighting uh, this evening. So everybody keep that in mind as well. A lot more news coming up on WKYT on your Friday morning. A special delivery to a Wisconsin police department left many officers scratching their heads. We'll tell you why someone sent them dozens of donuts coming up at the weather and we are staying dry this morning and toward this afternoon but as we work our way into the evening and night that's when we have that rain chance especially overnight and into your weekend a lot of rain on the way i'll have that coming up next